Hey guys, it's Brianna. Happy Wealth and Wellness. I'm gonna get this down. Wednesday. So I hope you're doing well on this Wednesday. Um, I wanted to talk today about something that I recently discovered and I think slash hope it's going to have an impact on me and maybe it will you too. So let's get on to it. Point one is that I have been having heart palpitations for like maybe a couple weeks pretty consistently. I've had heart palpitations um, sporadically throughout my life or my adult life and uh, you know recently it's been just getting a lot more just noticeable all the time. So if you are struggling with heart palpitations occasionally or frequently I would like to give you some potential answers and hope. So, or if anybody you know just like kind of complains of having heart palpitations or something, maybe it's more common than we think, I don't know. But, so there are a few different things that it could be that I found online. Again, I can link it below. But I was looking it up because I was concerned about myself. And um, one of the suggestions, or one of the possible reasons was, um, innocently enough, vitamin D. Maybe taking, like, too much vitamin D or maybe even vitamin D at all. So that really surprised me, and so I just wanted to share that just in case anybody needed to know that. And then a couple other things um, that might cause palpitations. So I'm going to try the vitamin D thing because I'm taking two different forms of vitamin D, um, two different sources, and I think because I've taken started taking the second source, I think that's when it started, or I think that might have been a prerequisite or a, you know, something like that for the, the more increased palpitation. So I'm going to try to go back to just taking the one source, my multivitamin, and chill out on the other source of it, um, because it's pretty scary having palpitations. It really is. And also, another recommendation, if you are having heart palpitations, is um, exercise. So, you know, you'd think lying dormantly or not exercising a lot would be, you know, I guess maybe you wouldn't think it would be good for your heart, but you, like, maybe, uh, probably not even neutral either. <laughs> We all probably know it's not very good, <laughs> but I think in the short term, I think we don't think of how much it might be affecting our heart, even in the short term, not exercising. And so, yeah, it's amazing how those things just kind of show up randomly. So I haven't been exercising a whole lot, as I mentioned in my last video, and I really like am going to get back to it. Now, I'm not messing around here. So I'm going to, whether that means me going to the gym or just working out in my bedroom, which I did yesterday, and, you know, or taking a jog around my little neighborhood thing. So if you are having heart palpitations, first, okay, first, sorry, disclaimer, go see your doctor, practitioner, someone that you trust to check you out and have an evaluation. So maybe don't go out and do a full sprint before you do that. <laughs> okay, disclaimer over. Um, yeah, I don't want anybody getting more hurt by the recommendation of exercise. So, yes. Uh, so exercise. That's another thing. And then magnesium. This website, don't quote me, don't quote the website because I don't, I don't know if it was peer reviewed, I don't know, I don't know, but, Magne what's wrong with magnesium? Come on, I feel like I've, I've read, or I mean I've saw on YouTube people, I've seen on YouTube someone saying that everyone is magnesium deficient, so get on the ball. If you're not getting enough magnesium, it can have a lot of different health impacts. So get real excited if you are not taking or 
getting enough magnesium right now because your life could just get a whole lot better. So, yeah, magnesium. There are a few types of magnesium that apparently are more bioavailable or whatever. So I get what is called Doctor's Best High Absorption Magnesium. And I feel like, honestly, that's had a really positive impact on me. It could be the fact that I'm also taking Super Omega-3 and vitamins, like multivitamins, and I kind of started taking all of those at sort of the same time. So I don't know which or all of them is making an impact, but I would say go get yourself some magnesium, something with magnesium in it. Uh, help yourself out. And also, I'm just going to throw this in there, omega-3s. Super good for you. Find a good quality source. Uh, one that has good, like, recommendations and stuff from people who know stuff. <laughs> because apparently, um, omega-3s can have, or, or, you know, fish oils of different sorts can have, uh, uh, contaminants and stuff. So just be careful for that and watch your brands that you're going for. Yeah, and another thing for me is, like, uh, the palpitations and stuff. I hate to say it. The S word. Stress. Yeah. So, but at the same time, it can be stressful on your body to not have the things that it needs, and maybe to have too much of something that it's needs but doesn't need that much of like vitamin D so and then also eat well I think that's you know it's like obvious but it's not as easy to practice and li lately I've not been eating very well just to you know I convinced myself it's because I'm trying to save money and stuff but kind of also just wanted mac and cheese and so yes Eat well, take care of yourself, take care of your body, love yourself, give yourself de-stressing activities, like going out in nature, that's so amazing, oh my gosh, get a massage, love someone, tell someone you love them, write an angry letter of someone you're pissed off about, that's helpful, don't send it to them, unless you really, really Feel like you need to. Um, it would be a good thing. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching this video. I wish you luck with your heart palpitations if you have them. Hope you don't. Um, did you get your daily dose of ums today? Because if not, I'm here to supply. Oh. <laughs> How sweet. Okay. So, <coughs> that was a deflection, by the way. I felt awkward. I coughed. But I also had to cough, but I feel like something psychological is involved there. Too. So, <laughs> alright, I've been kind of tilted to the side the whole time, so I'm sorry. Here I'm back. Um, yeah, there we go. There's another one <laughs> for you. Okay, so hopefully, like, vitamin D, you can't have too much of it. So... <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you so much for joining me. I wish you all the best of luck with everything, including heart palpitations. So, uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you would like to comment and share your stories about if you have heart palpitations, you know someone with heart, heart palpitations, or and have found a way to resolve them and help yourself, please let me know. That kind of looked like a dab. So, Please do that, and if you like this video, please subscribe for more. We got Mental Health Monday, Truth Telling Tuesday, Wealth and Wellness Wednesday, I'll get to the wealth part, and MBTI Thursday. Super excited. Love that one. And so for the wealth, I just want to leave you with a thought um, that I'm going to be thinking about, maybe you might want to think about. Uh, it's from this book, Me Five Years From Now. And it's a life planning book you write yourself. And I want to go through this book, but on the financial section it says, 
Uh, it has a bunch of questions you can answer for yourself. And one of them is the thing about my financial situation that worries me most or has me most dissatisfied is blah, blah, blah. So we, you and I, can fill that in for ourselves and um, just help ourselves to see what's an area of our lives, of our finances, that feels the most, like it says, dissatisfying or worrisome or, you know, the S word again. So it gives you like the most stress. So once we know what that is, we can work to resolve it and say, what practical steps can I take to unload this burden for myself? So I wish you the best of luck in that. Uh, if you want to, you can let me know your answers. I would love that. I think for me, it is the, I'll just be honest and I guess vulnerable. I don't know. It doesn't feel that vulnerable. But I feel like, anyway, I'll just say it. Uh, I have uh, like interest that accrues on debt that I have. And that's the most, that's very stressful. Watching money that you didn't spend be charged to you. <laughs> so that's pretty not fun. So my solution is to uh, do like a debt consolidation thing where you don't pay as much interest. So anyways, that's probably a little TMI from my life. So if you'd like to share yours, how your, your burden is, what your burden is financially and what you are doing to relieve yourself of that burden in the process, please let me know. And again, like if you like this video, you want to see another one, and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And thank you so much for joining. Have a great Wednesday.